The singing wine glass, also known as the glass harp or the harmonica, is a glass instrument invented in 1714 by Richard Pockridge, and a modern version of the harmonica is said to be invented by Benjamin Franklin. The sound of this beautiful instrument is created when energy is applied to the glass and the physical properties of the glass start to resonate. The applied energy will then in this case be rubbing one or two wet fingers on the rim of a glass, and the glass will then start to vibrate at its natural frequency. However, when energy is applied externally, this frequency will be called the resonant frequency. Different tones can be obtained by varying the amount of water inside a glass. Wine glasses are usually used so that one can hold onto the stem while rubbing to minimize interference of the signing. This experiment follows the principle of resonance that is, when a periodic vibration is applied to an elastic system, the system will respond with a greater amplitude of vibration the closer the applied frequencies are to the natural frequencies of the resonator. Natural frequencies are those frequencies at which an object vibrates most efficiently. In order to make a wine glass sing, you rub the rim with your finger. The rich in your finger set the glass into vibration and its natural frequency. Your fingertip needs to be wet in order to remove oils from between your finger rich. This helps produce just the right amount of friction between your fingertip and glass. As your finger moves along the rim, it is alternately slipping and sticking to the rim. This is called slipstick motion. The motion of your hand sets up a wave of vibration traveling through the glass. When a glass makes sound, it is vibrating much like a bell, with its rims and sides moving in and out very quickly, several hundred times each second. We call these vibrations frequency, in cycles per second, just as a swing likes to swing back and forth at its own special frequency. Vibrating objects like bells and glasses have their own special natural frequencies, at which they like to vibrate. When you tap the rim of a glass gently with a spoon, the glass vibrates at its special natural frequency and sings out a note of the corresponding musical pitch. Whether the vibration frequency and note pitch are high or low depends on the glass size and shape, how tall is it, how fat it is, how thick its walls are, of what kind of material it is made of, and although good crystal glasses may work best, less expensive glasses can also work well. So we have 8 wine glasses. Each of the glasses is filled up with a different amount of water. We start from the big amount of water to the less amount of water. Each glass will reproduce a different tune depending on the amount of water that the glass has. Let's start with the first glass. As we can hear, the empty wine glass sounds the same as the one next to it. This is because the wine glasses start to make a different tune if you fill the glass with more than a half cup of water. The result of this experiment is that frequencies of the wine glass with water at the bottom decrease very slowly. This is because the bottom part of the wine glass has the stem to reduce the distance the glass can vibrate. The wavelength gets smaller and according to the equation of relationship between frequency with period, the frequency will become large, the smaller the wavelength. There is more space for the glass walls to vibrate the further up we go, 
so the frequency will decrease. So, in few words, if you add water to the glass, it essentially makes the glass heavier, so it takes longer to vibrate back and forth, so vibration is slower, and therefore the pitch is lower. For the second experiment, we are going to use different types of liquids and also hot water, to see if there is a change in sound depending on temperature and density. Each cup is tuned with the note A. We have here room temperature water, hot water, wine, and oil. Now let's see how it sounds. In conclusion, before doing this experiment, we thought that wine was denser than water, but the results show that wine and water have almost the same density, that's why they sound almost the same. Hot water has a higher pitch compared to the room temperature water, and the oil has a thicker sound. This means that the four liquids we use reproduce the same tune but with a different timbre. This project helped us to understand better some of the principles of sound, like resonance and the concepts behind it. As future audio engineering, this experiment helped us understand in an easy way the principles of resonance and also how temperature and density can affect the sound source.